Hi, Kenny and Willem here. You're about to watch a chapter from our night photography course, especially for anglers, about our experience as anglers taking photos at night. Hi guys, thank you for purchasing our night photography course. We are so happy to have you here. This first section of the course is going to cover some basic housekeeping to provide you tips on how to be successful in the course and tell you where to find support if you need it. Give it a quick glance, don't stress about it. Remember, you can come back to this section at any time and we are always here to help you. See you soon. What a beautiful sunset we are enjoying, guys. We just got the rods out and we are very excited for the night. We hope we can catch the first carp of the trip to show you in our online night photography course. What to expect in this course? It doesn't matter what camera you own, from a full frame camera to a smartphone, everybody is going to learn a lot. You can follow the course at your own pace because all the videos will stay there. You can watch them whenever you want. You can watch them back and we will keep on updating the course when you have questions. So we are super excited for this. We hope you enjoy. Sit back and see you in the next video. And Kenyon is checking all the shots we made. So yeah, it's going well. Lots of progress. Before we dive into the course, we want to talk to you guys a little bit about our experiences with night photography, because it wasn't always a big success. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to be honest. Uh, we started out at the beginning also. I've been uh, fishing at night for over 15 years at least. And it's been only the last 10 years uh, since I've been developing my own photography. So my photos at the beginning... They sucked. <laughs> <laughs> they sucked. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, they did. Yeah, but um, it's been the last couple of years, I think four years, that we've been really investing in our night photography. And it started out with a trip. To Hungary. Hungary. Not only Hungary, it was a road trip. It was a road trip. We were gone for a month in Morenje in Hungary, we had this beautiful safari tent from the carp specialist and it was very romantic and there was a Milky Way and stars and we had candles everywhere and a bonfire. So of course we wanted beautiful photos and time lapses and we became a little fanatic on that trip. And it was such a success in Morenje that we got to Slovenia and at this lake, we were suddenly caught catching so many fish at night, so many fish. And you can't sack the fish for the whole night when it's you're catching them at nine o'clock at night. And also we didn't have enough nets, so it wasn't an option. So we decided, okay, we're going to take photos at night of all the fish. It'll be great. And at then, one point, yeah, I caught a, a carp. I've never seen one like this. It was blue, gray, kind of koi colors, incredible fish. So. I said to Kenyon, I don't only want a night photo of this fish, I want an epic night photo. Yeah. We had the moon rising over the horizon, the lights of the restaurant were, that were shining over the water, and we had this mountain backyard, back, backdrop. backdrop, of course. So we figured out, or we, were, we started figuring out how to set the camera up to get a, the, the, the range of, of exposure yeah. to lit both the background and the subject and it turned out that this photo was epic <laughs> well, it did very well on social media so yeah everyone it was thought it was epic. fake but it was not <laughs> lots of people said photoshop in the comments but it wasn't so this photo is is i think the beginning of our epic night shots and for this course um, of course we want to help you to make the best night photos ever but we have to uh, keep in mind that we try to help every single one of you, even if you have just a smartphone. So the challenge for us, this course, is to make this a learnable subject for everyone, Excellent. no matter what equipment you're using. Are you using a smartphone? Are you using the newest Sony camera like we are? You should all be able to make beautiful photos at night and definitely much better than what you're probably now ma making. But how do you do it? Exactly, and that's why we asked so many questions to you. What camera are you using? What are the problems you're running into? So the Insta Lives were for us, not only uh, to keep you all posted about this course, but also to receive input to 
include in this course so we can help every single one of you. Yeah, so that it's catered to you. Exactly. So I think we've been talking uh, too enough, long. Enough about yeah. ourselves. So uh, <laughs> let's sit back, start the course. We wish you so much success in the course and we hope that you enjoy it. We can't wait to see all your night pics. <laughs> With this course, we help you step by step to take stunning night shots. And if you want to see the full course, go check it out at quintafishingtutorials.com. If you have any questions, send us an email at infoquintonfishing.com. We see you there.